Okay, I have placed out one of my art quilts from my butterfly series, a series of about six quilts that I created in 2001. Two of the quilts in the series actually got purchased and are now in the American Embassy in Mali. And what I did to get inspiration to create this series was to look at a book published by the Audubon Society that had North American butterflies. And I went towards the butterflies because I felt that the butterfly uh, wings that had all the various color patterns on them ref made me think of an abstract painting. And then when I start kind of connecting that with how Georgia O'Keeffe created her uh, flower paintings, I kind of felt that I would do the same in terms of a large scale of the butterfly wings in a quilt, one of my art quilts. And so each quilt is about six feet square. And what I have done is to create the butterfly as the center of focus. And then surrounding the butterfly, I've created or also collected a variety of floral print fabrics to kind of uh, create like a garden effect where the butterfly is resting on a bed of flowers. And so each one has basically the same sort of composition structure. However, each quilt has a different type of butterfly. This particular butterfly, the common name for it is zebra butterfly because of the bold black and white stripes that it has. And uh, what I had to do is duplicate each wing so it looked like it was a pair. And so that was slightly challenging, but I succeeded, I think, in creating the effect of a real butterfly. And so you could see that I outlined each of the pieces of fabric that I cut out with a variety of color threads uh, using a zigzag stitch to uh, complete that uh, finished look. And so what we have here is a zebra butterfly made in 2001.